And we'll start from here. All right, so let's get started. So getting into it. All right, all right. Mistake number one, right there, narrowing at Falcon, will usually get you fucked up. So, already a bad start. Not sure how far um, Darkson will actually take this punish, and if he makes it matter. But I learned the hard way against Julian in my hours of training with the legendary I play Falcon, is that you can't just narrow at Falcon. You have to you have to think about these nares and know what they're going to do and what you're making them do. You can't approach with nares, Marth. It's too slow. It's too easy for Falcon to get around because of this humongous and quick dash dance. So do not nare Falcon. He'll fuck you up. So let's see how far Darkson takes his punish. All right. So if Darkson sucks, he doesn't. He gets literally just a nair, and that's it. On the platform, attempting shield drop. Doesn't really get anything out the shield drop. It's fine. All right. So when you do land it, it's gonna get neat. When you do land an air against Falcon, uh, it really just doesn't combo for the most part. You have to just acknowledge that this move is going to check chase, which is amazing against Falcon because tech chasing him to death is like the best thing you can do. So Steve, often I hear people compare our playstyles as I grab more and move more and you swing more. And against Falcon, you can't really wall him out because he's just that much faster than you. Let's see, how far can we go back here? Ah, Christ. Ah, oh, Twitch player is the worst for this. Alright. So, goes for the air, gets punished. Waits the grab because Steve DI is like a god there. And gets a forward air. Forward air. This is a retreating forward air. Da, 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 da. We're getting back to where we were. Alright, so yeah. That Nair stuffed Falcon's approach, which was exactly what you need to use Nair for. Is that if you know he's going to come at you with an aerial, like if you recognize that spacing and that timing, like Mars standing up, he's standing, he's dashing towards you. Like you'll notice, like most of the time, they'll go for that Nair. Because like, worst comes to worst, it, like it crosses up your shield. Unless you stuff it with a Nair. So you get the Nair, he falls over, he texts in, and you just try to grab, you don't really do anything. You're not, no, doesn't really look like you were thinking hard with that grab. And you got a need. Yeah, pretty basic edge guard there. Is he gonna Marth killer? He should, just kidding. This is why I don't play Falcon. Okay, go for the uh, smash. With, with, with City over here. Okay. Yeah, you can't just kind of like, Darkson was very clearly just waiting for you to swing in that situation. That's strange that you say that about FD and Dreamline. So yeah. Generally, like, playing against Falcon, it's like, you can't approach aerials, you can only approach it down tilt. And threaten your space. And maybe run up grab. Run up grab works, like, most of the time, if they're really not ready for it. But, uh, run up detail is usually my main tool against Falcon. And, um, because what it does is, like, you're kind of just moving him off the stage. If you have stage control against Falcon, like, he can't set up for like good nares without like some really tricky like tech skill like a pivot nair or like a shield shield like shield pivot nair or some shit like that so like if you have him in the corner like you're in a good spot but because you forward aired in that situation let's see if i can get back to it whole minute back push players sucks all right we're going to hold me to back so blah 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 this happens this happens Where is this forward air? So dark zoom. All right, so neutral. Down throw, forward air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hype. So you have dark sim with your invisibility. Up tail. Did I skip back too far? I don't know. I don't remember this happening. Pretty basic edge guards. No, it could just help ledge there. Yeah, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Well. Yeah, recognizing when a hold ledge against Falcon is very important. Oh, I don't know where that, that spot in the video went. Alright, well, bottom line, you need to maintain stage control against Falcon, otherwise this happens. Fortunately, double forward air from, from the corner is fucking amazing. So, kudos to that. It made him back off, but on the third swing, he... 
Again, he kind of just like dashed away and dashed back in. Since it's usually like Marth playing that game of like, you know, you just wait, right? Like if you're swinging and if you're like, you know, jumping in with your swings, like people are going to catch you on that because it's slow. And it's something that a lot of people look for and it's like a really good way to beat Marth. You just wait for him to swing. But waiting for him to swing, he opens himself up. It's a very rare opportunity. It's a very like short window as well. Because, you know, he's dash dancing so much, he's, most of the time he's waiting for you. But the moment Marth gets impatient, it's just like, it's the moment to go in. It's kind of how I play the matchup. Actually, I play the matchup really aggressive in the Marth though. Because I'm like, yo, down tilt's the best move in the game. Why would I not use it? I know when you're going to forward air. I know when you're going to, like, nair. I'll just do it before you do. So. Yeah, you can't, you can't swing at Falcon. Because he's way too good at dashing away. Kind of like baiting you, just like Marth would. And then dashing back in and getting a grab. And then capitalizing off the grab. So that was like an up throw. Okay, on the platform. Covers the platform. Yeah, bad DI there. He gets three up airs for it. Terrible ledge guard. Corner winners. Throw out the whole forward airs. Nice down tilt there. But you don't really capitalize it. Because he... Darkstein was able to recognize that he got down tilted and rolled out immediately. I think he's been doing that very consistently like through the whole set. So even if you land the down tilt, like, don't just automatically go for the grab. Think like, hey, what's going to happen next? Like, usually I'll down tilt and dash away or down tilt and dash in. And if you dash in and recognize that he, he rolls, you could dash the other way, get the grab, dash the other way, you know, do whatever. So good edge guard there. Stuck on the platform, not a good place to be. You got him with that forward air again, that dash off forward air. I think he's just not really, like, respecting that option. Which is another, like, is another opportunity for Marth to capitalize. Sorry. Not Marth to capitalize, but for your opponent to capitalize on Marth. Because, like, you're on that platform, like, you have no reason to, you know, shield drop. You have no reason to just kind of drop down. You might as well, you know, threaten your range. Like, you know, try to get some, some space on the stage by doing a dash off forward air. It's working as Dark Sim, because I don't think he's ready for it. But it gets a lot of other players, like, they're ready for it. Like, they can dash away and get the grab, uh, depending on their spacing. They can dash in and then turn around and get the grab. So generally that forward air, not very good. I've been punished on it way too many times to, you know, be like, yeah, 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 that's the option. In this match, it might be the option because he's just not, not accounting for it at all. But most of the time, it's not the best option. So right now, right now, Dark Sim, jab and shield. Do a frame perfect and get a grab. Okay, drop shield. I guess you grabbed a little too low, a little too slow. So you could nair there because he's trying to nair out of the corner, but you nair back. Okay, that time he was ready and he gets the punish. So, Darsim definitely making the adaptations. He definitely got a lot better since I I, def I played him, for sure. Okay, good edge guard by Darsim. Knee. Get the eye, not good enough. Okay. So, generally you're just like swinging too much, I think. You just gotta like, especially against a character like Falcon, you know, you just gotta like, just dash. Dash more, down till, go with the safe stuff. Because if you're if you're swinging in the air, like you're gonna get clips. Like you want to tell you that any day of the week. Switch to Red Marth, I expect it. To Yoshi's, yo Yoshi. All right. So I'm sure you've heard this also from Julian. Julian has taught me everything I need to know about this matchup. Seems like a six start so far. Um. Uh, hold on. Falcon moves now. The right. So let's deal with that. Okay. So what the deal with that is, is that you have down tilt, and what that down tilt does is that it it will kind of um. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Got a message. What the down tilt does is that it kind of compensates for Marth's like, lack of speed. Um, and by doing so, like, where did you start? Down tilt will, it compensates for Marth's lack of speed. So instead of, you know, being able to, you know, rush in with the grab, he can just threat, threaten with this humongous move, the down tilt. It's really safe, and it's hard to punish. Unless they read it. So... And Mars da dash dance is still good enough to like to to 
to deal with Falcon. So, you know, in theory, you can talk about like, oh, you know, Falcon's faster than Marth. You know, why why would he ever lose a neutral? It's because Marth still has good tools. He has fast stuff. He has, you know, a side B to clip the nares, like the approaching aerials. He has his down tilt to deal with any kind of ground-braced approach. You know, he still has a short hop, rising fair, fast fall. Let's say that's another good tool that you can use to, to stuff Falcon at a neutral. Um... Especially on a stage like Yoshi's. So I was going to talk about the stage choice uh, before, and then I got a little sidetracked. Um, in the words of I Play Falcon, Yoshi's is the ledge. The whole stage is a ledge, and that's why I love this stage. You take someone here, it's especially Falcon, who you tech chase to death, like a dirty chic main. And you, it's like two grabs. Two grabs, all you need to get him off the stage. You just keep throwing him into the corner. You wait for him to DI wrong or recover wrong. It's over. He's done. Because Falcon be edge guarding. Falcon being edge guarded is like the most miserable character in the game. He's got a bad matchup on every character of the game when he's off the stage. Um, probably gonna see it in this match if you do wind up getting these edge guards. A uh, very popular option is just kind of a little full hop back to the back to the ledge, which a lot of people will do because they really don't feel like up being and getting clipped by more ridiculously large hitboxes. So they're just gonna jump back up to the ledge. Let's see if that happens. So, that looks like a pretty strong start. Let's see if I can rewind it a bit. Okay, going into it. So, bad spawns. Alright, good Nair. Clips his Nair. That's not true. That's not true because I do it. And if you know he's going to do that, like, if you reckon, like, you can do the reacting tech chase, so they do that, and they do somehow get out of it. So first off, you got boost grab, underrated with Marth. Marth has a very decent boost grab. Secondly, if you know they're going to do that, just tipper the shit out of him. I have very much so adapted Marth, Marth's tipper as a, um, as a tech chase option. And if I notice people doing that option, I'll just kind of, like, wave dash into place, confirm the option. And then just do it. Uh, how do you get your videos analyzed? Queue them up. Right now I've got this match. Then another match on the same stream. And then I have a match of MPKs versus Spike. So just link your match and I'll, I'll queue it up. So anywho. So it's not completely unbeatable. Like You might not be able to get the grab. But you could definitely get the smash if you read it. And in that... In that position falcon can falcon's already in the corner like if you down throw him in the corner like he lost stage control down throw tech case away not a good option especially on a stage like yoshi's and i take advantage of that like at the utmost against every character okay good follow-ups here he rolls out that's a good i like that dash dash tech like the idea it just wasn't spaced or timed well enough uh a forwarder might get punished nope nice up tilt I'm not sure what that down air is about. You could have just waited for him to, you know, do something. Wait, what happened to down tilt? Did he like? Right, we're gonna have to fucking what? Why is it all back here? God damn it! I hate this player. Okay, this the sock apparently goes pretty well. I hate Twitch player, dude. This sucks. Okay, blah 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 blah. I want, to see the, I want to see the up tilt again. I just need to see the DI on it. It's the forward air. Up tilt. Okay, so he gets the DI. Barely not on the platform. Which sucks. And a tech roll that way. Misses the down air. Doesn't get punished. Gets another in air. So you're pretty much just covering, like... Is there a very Ken strategy where you cover unsafe moves with other moves if someone doesn't, like, punish perfectly. So good in air. Stuff is in air. Good up tilt, just kind of like abusing the fact that he cannot go anywhere. That would have been a sick dare, but doesn't land. But yeah, that up tilt was good because he's just been like aerialing out of bad positions. So you just clip him with that and he's done so he's done skis. Unfortunately they don't get quite the best punish here. Tries to go for the top platform, not sure what that was about, especially when you've been doing the runoff F air thing like the whole like a whole game one. He'll probably like re-remember that eventually. But you really should have just stayed on the bottom 
I kept doing things, but it gets clipped by that forwarder instead. So I paused, right? The situation here, um, doesn't look too strong for Marth. Marth, uh, you already double jumped. You're at 7%, so it's not too bad. Is he going to capitalize? No, he's just going to wait. Good side bees. Get the shield up in time. <laughs> some, some Ken side bees. It's kind of like, oh, okay, whatever. That was all bad melee right there. Bad edge guard, terrible edge option. So good on Dark Sim to kind of just recognize that uh, one. Actually, if he was really keen to this, he'd recognize that you've been teching in place on the platforms a lot. But um, but two, it's like it's kind of like the Marth thing where you just like you just read their tech on the platform and you just do an up air that covers everything. Right. So fucks up his his up airs because he doesn't actually know how to do that like like a Marth main would. Tech chase begins. Dash away. So that you were doing that on reaction, like you could have done that perfectly. Good up tilts. A little slow on the tech chase on platform. Doesn't matter because you had shield posts. Up and smash. Questionable. Good nair there. This is looking like a very strong game. Uh. Game two for you, Steve. Because you're just clipping him with moves and he's just getting hit. Wouldn't you quite say you're playing the matchup correctly, but it's working. Alright, good da good dash away. Bad tech chase. Nice shield turn around. I love that. I love baiting Falcons with that. Oh, it doesn't get the turn around. Good nair again. See, this time the nairs are working out for you because you're, you're catching him doing aerials. Weak knee. Uh, so gay. Anywho, so this time the nares are working out a lot better. You're converting off them better. You're recognizing your tech chase options. Taking a place on platforms can be a little frustrating to deal with, but if you do, so all right, you definitely know about this, but maybe not all my stream homies know about it. Where is it? Here it is. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, I, th I do think the nares are working well because it doesn't have as much room on stage. Because, like, you just throw it out, right? It just kind of works. But it's only because he can't really go anywhere. So he's trying to just nair into pretty much the same position every time. So you keep nairing the same position and he's going to get clipped. He's going to wind up, like, uh, especially on Yoshi's, since the platforms are so low, so close together. He's going to wind up on the platforms a lot. Oh, I didn't find it. It's in here somewhere. It's in this guide, right? Like, it has to be. Green grab. Oh, God. Yo, where is this? Um. Da 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 da. I am looking for a particular GIF that illustrates. I wish I could find this faster. So yeah, the nares on, on Yoshi's are a little better because, you know, Marth can just cover the whole fucking stage, pretty much. Oh, here it is. Here they are. Okay, so according to this guide, uh, timing for jump and up air are all the same. Are the same for all four of Fox's options. It works on pretty much, like, every other character if you time a nair right. So, like, you get someone on the, onto a platform with nair on Yoshi's, like, you could just cut it. You just have to move to that platform right under the center, right, and you cover the whole thing. They miss it, they do tech in place, right? Can you even see my mouse? I have no idea. Let's find out. So they move, you know, they tech any, any which way, they're just gonna get clipped. So it works on Falcon especially because his, his tech, his tech rolls so bad in the first place, right? I don't know if you ever be able to see my mouse. Anywho, I don't care that much. So back to the match. 
So yes, I think Nair is good on Yoshi's. And just the way you're using it was a lot more effective than it was game one. Because you weren't getting clipped for it. Because there's not as much room for Falcon to really do anything about it. So good grab and dash in there. He gets a tech chase. He goes gets a little greedy. You could afford him for that, actually. And regain your stage control. Another good Nair there. It's kind of like turning around. Yo, wait. Was that a wave dash back side B? What is wrong with you? That was amazing. Can we go back for that? I really want to see that again. I hate the... I hate this so much. I'm gonna go all the way back here. I think it advanced it. No, it didn't. Okay, I remember this. Air. Weird forward air. Weird wave dash, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you could have forwarded there because you got a little antsy. You could have feedback. Good forward air to Cliff and moving on the platform. <laughs> that was a sick wave dash. These are, these are cute little uh, little side views here. All right, he gets you trying to trying to yeah. That's pretty much the only thing he's getting punishes off of is whenever you swing. <coughs> I'm not sure what that was about. Nice tipper, especially because he was going to be dying wrong since he was side being. In the direction he was getting tippered. See, yeah. So the only reason you ever get punished, and the only thing he's punishing you off of, is just whenever you swing and miss. Oh, you did try to go for that option. I think way dash back uh, F air works a little better. Alright, so that's the end of, end of that game. Modded you team space, DSC. I'm pretty sure I trust him. So, we're going to Dreamland. I hate this stage. I don't know why you picked this stage. Uh, maybe JoJo. I love you. Probably going to analyze our match later. Uh, probably not, actually. Now that I think about it. Anywho. Not sure why you didn't... Alright. I think you had ex an explanation for why you went here in the chat before. Maybe that was on our Facebook chat. Three stalked me twice in FD. Okay, fair enough. I actually am not not the. I actually kind of like FD against against Falcon because if you if you get if you start getting <coughs> the right grabs, the right percentages, and you're just tech chasing efficiently, you can start up throwing into fucking into fucking like everything. Did I say up throw? Yeah, yeah. You can up throw to like everything. You can just kind of tip room. Um, you can go for a lot of up air follow ups into a tipper. Wouldn't really suggest going for something like a Ken combo. I guess you could forward air him off the stage and like set up for an edge guard. But yeah, uh, there's a myriad of ways to kill Falcon on FD. I think it's like pretty much even there, like in my opinion, only because like the punish game, like with most characters, gets really fucking skewed. But unfortunately for Marth, it's a lot harder to punish Falcon at lower percent because of. Um, there's a crouch canceling on that. Yeah, it, it's. Anywho, it's harder to get your punishes at low percent because you, what you need to do is fish your grabs. Um, I'm like Falcon, who can just kind of crouch cancel your shit, get a grab, and then do like fifty percent on you, and then maybe like a kill if you di just a little wrong. So that's what makes FD a little more in Falcon's favor, but I. I make do with what I got because a lot of Falcons will go for specific approaches in FD because there's so much room they can kind of account for that and, you know, dash dance a little weird in the corner and then, you know, do a turnaround, like shield a shield pivot, um, like shield grab, which is like uh, something I take advantage of quite a lot. Or like a turnaround like forward air and just clip them, just like clip them out of neutral. So... All right, let's let's catch the beginning of this match. What's happening here? I'll rewind more. All right, any game two. Um, all right, that's the case. I might not just because other people want their matches analyzed. So I'm gonna do this one, and then I'm gonna switch to Snappy Ks. I'll come back to this one. Uh, see these other set later. So Dreamland, I like Dreamland. Actually, yeah, I hate Dreamland. Never mind. I like FD. 
Yeah. So a bunch of nares there. I was uh GPU actually posted on the Marth R and D group. He's a big fan, even though everyone on there fucking sucks. And he posted something about uh, like a list of things people need to learn how to do. And one of the things he mentioned was uh DIing Falcons and Air properly to get out of it. And I, was, I asked him, you know, in the comments, like, yo, what do you mean by this? You mean smash DI the first hit or just DIing, DIing out of it like normally, you know, like down and away. And he replied just to smash DI the first hit down. Or actually, yeah, is, is it down or up? It was down. It had to be down because I was thinking to myself, like, if you smash DI down and you fuck up the smash DI, or if you can't smash DI down for some reason, you're already DIing down. So all you have to do is just, you know, rotate your stick a little bit to make it down and away. So, it's just something I'm kind of remembering right now, I guess, as a as a note for myself, as a note for anyone else who plays Marth, or anyone else who plays against Falcon, is that it is kind of like Fox's up air, up throw up air, you know, up air, where you can smash the eye out of the hit, and because Marth doesn't take a lot of hits done, like off that first hit, you can definitely get an up air off that, and that, that starts a lot of combos for Marth. So, Darkson gets those two nares, it does damage, he's looking for a stomp, he's going to land it. No, because reverse forward air is the goat. Tech chase. Oh, never mind. Oh, that was sick. Oh, okay. So right there, a little too late. Uh, I was I was excited because I saw he was DIing towards that platform and I knew he had a tech. So on on Dreamland, you could just cover the whole platform with up air. And that's something that is just so important. You got to keep your... I like to keep my punish, punishes like to this, this idea of kiss, right? Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Right, four things. You gotta keep it simple, keep it stupid. So, it might feel unfair, but fuck Falcon. You just fucking up air the platform a thousand times. And then if he if he texts, you can up tilt. And then if even if he gets a shield up, he's still below you. Like, he has to pick an option. You're, you're, you're advantageous the whole time, unless your shield drops. And you hit a shield after he gets a shield up. Consider narrow way, ideally, and or hold down for the second hit. Word. Okay, so you miss that punish on, on that on that platform there, and and by missing that, Falcon's now escaped. He's now over there, and you full hop, like it's probably a a little mistake on your part. Okay, so you missed it with the edge guard. See, okay, you you, you did it again. You up through, he died towards the platform, and you went for a forward air on like a. Assuming you get the follow-up, and you just gotta react accordingly. I just know, like, alright, I'm not gonna have time, because because of what Falcon's, uh... What what Falcon's weight does to Mars throws, or does or what throws do to, to the animation length of a throw. And then, you know, it makes it slower. You know that, Faber, I know you know that. But, because of that, you couldn't get really get the forward air. You had to pretty much go for short hop, like a like a dash up air or or nothing like that was the only thing that was going to work in, the, in a certain situation pretty much maybe an air uh maybe not it's a hard read but up air covers the whole platform and you can at, at like this percent you can still follow up until like a forward air or an air to you know to get excuse me to get him off the stage so he gets clipped out of the forward air coming off the platform uh, misses dashing grab. He gets clipped by Nair there. That was kind of weird. That was a weird reverse forward air. Okay. So he you, he managed to link together those two forward airs. Can you get the edge guard? No. He's going to do that stupid falcon fake out shit. Really annoying to deal with. Oh, uh, knee stupid. Terrible beyond the knee. But, you know, what are you going to do? Who expects to get hit by that knee? Whatever. Hey, falcon. So... Yeah, good, good, like little hits to kind of just like keep him off stage. Good edge hog. I'm trying to go for you know any more of those little hits for him to di up and get another shot at, at like recovering high because that's all you had to do to recover his falcon. You just gotta wait for your opponent to fuck up and just pray that they fuck up. And because Mars moves don't really send falcon very high in certain spacings, like you can just try over and over and over. Uh, also, this song kind of sucks because it's not really song, so I'm gonna skip it. It's kind of annoying. Okay. So anywho, okay, so I paused. I'm just gonna look at this. If you forward air here, you're a god. Fuck yeah. Okay, it goes for the up throw. No, it goes for the fucking grab in this corner. It goes for the up throw. If Smash doesn't tip her, that's okay, because he's in this terrible situation. S Smash. Down air. I'm really agreeing with that. 
Backer covers more options, uh, more heights, and we'll just kind of send Falcon off the stage. Air into knee because Falcon's stupid and has kill moves. He died at 72. Some characters. That's just like, yo, you gotta at least look out for that, for those moves and account for that DI. Good run up F smash. Kind of caught him DIing away. Nice down air. Show him who's boss. Clean space, baby. Good nair. He's kind of like shielded. I don't know what that was up that. He would have had that nair in a grab, which would have been sick. You know, four throw off stage. Read his, his option. Doesn't matter. You're DIing very poorly. How did that situation happen? I need to find out. I need to investigate. This, this should do. Okay. So... Is that the kill here? I don't remember. Is this the, is this the, walk, the run up F smash one? No, it's not. Maybe it is. I don't know. I think I run it too much. Da 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 da. Yeah, okay. So this is where run up F smash. I run way too far down there. Yeah, that was, that was weird. So he gets this S smash. This is what like, leads to your death. It is because he gets that tech in place read. Because, you know, S smash sets up for tech chases. I guess. And then... Dodges the grab. Gets a grab of his own. Does he up throw into, into knee? Up throw into up air into knee? Whatever. It's a bad, like, just option to come down with and get need for it. Generally go for that kind of downer. Sometimes you just gotta, like... So I, I was I was given these words of wisdom long ago by a, by an old man named uh, Alucard C T R L Alucard, and we were me and, uh, and Matt were playing him me and Claw, were playing him a bunch at, at No John's and some friendlies, and he said, "Yo, all you guys do when you come down is like come down with with aerials. Sometimes you just gotta like chill with that shit. It's like you know you, you don't have to do it every time." I was like, "Yo, you're right." And ever since then, it stuck with me. It's like, oh okay, yeah, I shouldn't come down with an arrow every time because it gets very predictable. And because I know that, I can also recognize that, hey, a lot of other people have to come down with aerials like that. So you kind of just track where they're going, and you just hit them. You know that. I know you know that. But that's just something I like to keep in mind a lot. It's like, yo, the words of all the card, don't come down with an aerial every time you, every time you land. Because he was looking for that kill move. If you were high percent, he wants that knee. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm not sure what he's doing. Where's ROM, ROM 9? Is that where ROM? Anywho. Okay, so there, yeah, you could start the right, you could be a little bit more aggressive with your dash dance, uh, your dash dance details. Because really, I'm not seeing it too much, and I think it works out very well. Because at high percent, it's that's for a tech chase. Support air. Catch him doing something stupid. Okay. So type battle, you clip him with the down tilt. It's kind of like a check, like, hey, are you, are you doing your ledge grads right? Uh, we're immersing aerials here. Try to reset your stage. No dash into the grab. So maybe that's something you need to work on. Is just like your aerial in the dash grab, right? Because I've seen you with that like twice this set, and the more automatically you can do that, like the better you are off. That's a down tilt. It's not get the grab after because Joe again like. Darkstone is able to recognize the situation where he's getting, where he's getting down tilted, and he's able to react accordingly. So he's just gonna roll. He rolls. He's rolled like every time in your down tilts. But you can still capitalize on this if you notice it, right? You can you can acknowledge that all right, he's gonna roll in. It roll in off the down tilt. He'll buffer the down tilt, the the roll off the down tilt. So you know you can down tilt, dash in, dash back away, and get the grab when he rolls in. Or at least, you know, dash away, reposition yourself so you're not strictly at a disadvantaged position. Because, you know, Falcon's Falcon's down, like, in-roll has to be frame negative versus the the, the run-in detail. So he tries that stupid S-Mash. So there you are, like, spamming aerials again. And that that's what takes a set, actually, is that he caught you spamming aerials, even did a jump in there. He said, mm, give me that. Give me that jump in there. I will take that to the bank. And he did. He caught you with that, with the, like trying to do that jump in there, and he punished you for it. So, if there's anything you take away from, from this analysis, Steve, is that you just gotta, like, you gotta relax. 
against against guys like uh like Dark Sim, you know, don't sleep on him, you know. He's gotten a lot better. Um So yeah, just stop jumping Nary. It's very dangerous, especially against Falcon. So MPK, are you in here? Redo your set next. <laughs> 